upstairs and back into the mafia. Yeah, and yeah. So okay. Uh, monster party. Yes. <laughs> Bye. What do they call you, son? Damas. Damas Angelo, sir. Frank told me you ran into some trouble? Yes, sir. My cab got smashed up pretty good. Morello's thugs went after him by the kind of time he helped us. This, uh, taxi. That's your livelihood? Yes, sir. I feel a sense of responsibility here. So I'm gonna set you up with a small loan, enough to get that cab of yours fixed up. I appreciate that, sir, but I'm not looking for a handout. Then what are we doing here? I just want a shot at the bastards who wrecked my cab. <laughs> you hear that, Frank? The kid wants my permission to get into a fight. Yes, I heard. Okay, Tommy Angelo. All the Morellas girls hang out at a bar of yours. Paul, you know the place. Sure do, boss. You can ride along with Tommy. There's a lot right next to the bar where they park their cars. Go smash up a few tin cans, send Morello a message. He can't rough up hard-working Joes in my neighborhood without getting a black eye. Thank you, Mr. Salieri. I won't let you down. And Tommy, when you get back, we'll talk about what's next for you. So this one, can you buy No one suits? else knows you here. So tread careful. Okay? Sure. The boss finished yet? Nah, you got more time to sit on your ass. Okay. Don't say it. I'm ready to let you know of my joy to hear that you will be attending the wedding of my daughter. Please, if there are any further agree agreements you would wish for, let me know. It will be a wonderful day and for the world to see that the occasions has your blessing. The ob uh, occasion on other has blessed you with a great hit and special and memorable to a loyal friend. Find anything good? Who's the yeah, I... I'm Andy. watching you. Well, Got put it. him out. I get it. He's gonna drive the boss? Nah, you don't lose your job that easy. I hate sitting around. Boring as hell. If the boss says you're not ready to come out of the black shoes. I stay. Prepare him here to stay. Prediction and sale of alcohol to remain illegal in a speech to Gareth Press President. Ah, but oh yeah, I don't know. It's real. It is a person called that. Retired today. That the no, no, no re betray, retired. I don't know. He's retired today or what? <laughs> that the noble uh, es experiment of something will remain in place. Forced to respond to document disintegration. I, I don't know. I can't read guys. <laughs> Who knows? Also and better I don't get what his problem is What do you think I got to do? Il dasista, ricordi? Ah, si, si The bars are closed for you, I'm afraid Come back later with Paul or Sam Hey, you're best working up that. I need to smash some things up. Okay. I can find a family I can probably do it. Well, you're good with Polly. But that don't mean you're good Anyways, with Anyways, I got places else. to be. Okay, come through this way. I'll take you to Vinny first. Kind of problem? He's a loud mouth, but Frank and Adon have known him since forever. What's he do? We go see him whenever we need to do any, uh, 
heavy lifting. Make sure we're well healed for when there's trouble. Okay, so let's Here's Tommy Angelo. We're doing a little job together. All right, good, good. Hey, you just need bean shooters or ruts? Nah, we just need something to write off a few cars. Huh. Oh, I got just the thing. This classic should do the <laughs> trick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if the bat don't work out for use, I got a few cocktails here. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Careful with him, no. Don't want to burn off your short ears. <laughs> Good to meet you, Todd. Let me know if Paul gives you the hard time. I'll straighten him out. Come back and see me later if the boys don't scare you away. I'll fix you with a gat. <laughs> you can look around, sure. But nothing leaves the room. Yeah, I got two here. Magazines as well. Cop sure would love to get their hands on this stuff. Ralphie's in the garage. He's a special kind of idiot, but he's got a way with cars. I don't get how this moron gets interest in her. But I'm telling you, it's like some kind of black magic. Can't just sneak up on a guy like that. Uh, I'm sorry, Ralphie. I'm just busting your balls. <laughs> see, 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 you're still a little limping. Guess we got two, 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 two cripples working here. <laughs> we ain't nothing alike. You got that, Ralph? Sure, 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 sure Papa Polly. Yeah. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. Good to meet you. Like I said, Ralphie here's a crack deck. Well, you bring him a stolen car, he'll make it yours. Tom and me, we got a job to do. We need some wheels. How about this one, Papa Polly? It, it, it ain't a ha 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 ride, but it, it'll get you across to the, the town. All right, let's go. You're driving. And don't let me catch you loafing off again. <laughs> One day I'm gonna cut your brake line, asshole. I don't know what Ralph's trying to pull giving us this motor. I wanna show you something about the good life and you're driving something my mom could have bought 20 years ago. If I know Ralph, he probably got it taken out of our yard. Hey, the guy's fine. But it's good to get a change from the cat. You don't have to be nice about it. Stings a tin can! So, was that whiskey back there in the truck? Yep. New supplier. You guys deal in broad daylight? Normally, nah. This was their first drop off. And the cops know better than to come sniffing around our turf. Morello, the guy whose cars you got a torch, he's got more friends on the force than us. But we're okay, as long as we're careful. An eye over our shoulder. Some of the Canadian whiskey that comes through, you want a bottle? Just ask. Keeps them back for friends. 
Ah, I'm no big drinker. I used to tip back bathtub gin most days, but not so much now. That stuff's no good for you. You don't have to go blind now, though. To us, you got a line of the good stuff. Oh, that's good of you. Thanks. Not just the booze we supply, Tom. It's the places we deliver to. The dames they got in these places. Best tables, best food, best skirt. Some way to live. Right now, all I want to do is wreck the day of the bastards who wrecked mine. I don't trust in this. Sure, sure. Besides, all this could get a guy in trouble. Trouble says the guy is about to set fire to Morello's parking lot. <laughs> I got you to protect me. It'll go fine. Well, if it don't go fine, try not to let him see your face. Either that, or you hit him so hard they don't remember it. I said, I think I'm never doing this in the old one. I did, I did, I don't be doing this. Yeah, like I said, my friend, my friend got far. He got, well, got through two taxes and then I played it. And then he got even further. Saying that, hey, I did this, so I should play him. And said, yes, but I just need somebody to get through the first mission. So, thank you. <laughs> it isn't the first mission, this is, this isn't the second mission, this is the third mission. I saw, yeah, I saw him playing it and uh, saw like the good scene. You know, when you get someone in. We're getting on to Morello's turf now. There's some kind of line between his streets and Celieri streets. Not really. There's always some give and some take. Though in general, we look after Little Italy, and his guys work North Park. And more besides. You're walking on the wrong sidewalk. In a rural part of town, you start getting a sense you need to be someplace else. You can feel it long before they start appearing on street corners to stare you down. I think those mountains are slow. Oh, this one's it. Okay, it's close by. <laughs> Smoking jaw up front and leave their motors out back. They're some lazy bastards. They put some gorilla on guard duty, but it's always some no name schmuck. Come on, over here. You gotta sneak in and wreck the cars. Send a message. Sure. Why are you coming with? To see if you get shot. Okay. Sees our heads. No one tries to pop them. Get over this gate and up onto their roof. I'll go keep their chump busy. And creep up and jump from behind. Real good at the strike action here. The boss gets plenty of guys in the city real pissed. Actually, careful. As I get the money on time. Ah, uh, he's good for it. Hey, 
Get away from the car. Knock him down, Tom. Get him. You got some kind of death wish? Shouldn't be here. Just like that. I got it. How'd you know this is Dino's car? I kinda like you, and you got a good car? I'm gonna know where you keep it. This is reports of burning vehicles and gold fire in North Park. Take... It's right here Morello's place. Don't huh. bring in the wrong people. Old ways are the best ways. Straight through the gate! We gotta get out of here before the bulls show! They're shooting! Drive! Drive! Officers have seen him, no one's oh, shit. Him. We got cops. So what? Uh, what do we do? We lose them by driving real fast and getting clear of them. Sounds good. Okay, the they're pissed. Away in North Park, so let's not get them real Keep pissed. Don't turn up. See the boss. I thought Silieri had cops on the books. Some street cops, sure. But Morello's got the chief in his pocket. How'd it feel? Feel good? How'd what feel? Taking out the guy. Taking Dino's car. Feel good? Yeah. I guess it did. There's no time like the first time, Tom. Don't get better. You think it's for you? There's life? What's it to you? Hey, I'm just asking questions. I like asking questions. I doubt that every day you and Sam go and panel beat motors in parking lots. Eh. There's busy days, there's slow days. I've had more of an introduction than I ever got. You never got to beat up Dino's pals and take his motor? Nah, stole enough cars to get noticed, I guess. When I got squeezed by the cops, knew never to squeal. And one day I found myself in a yard behind a bar drawn with Vincenzo. Ten years go by and I'm still there. So, I got a suit now and Vinny's an old bastard. <laughs> I always thought that to be in a family you had to have more connections. Your brother or your uncle or... Oh, some guys, sure. Your cousin got made, or you like Carlo, whose pop went way back with the Don. That means you get trusted more when you're starting out. But there's plenty of us who came in off the street. I'm thinking we get you in front of the boss, then we tip a few. Well, I don't got plans, so... Sure you don't got plans. The plans are to feed Vinny so much booze that Luigi has to roll him out the door again. I'm good with whatever. <laughs> sure you are.
still with you then? Somehow, yeah. Hey, boss. It's done. No trouble? Yeah, nothing we couldn't handle, Mr. Salieri. Good, good. Sit down. You see Morello? Nah. But he'll be plenty pissed when his boys tell him what happened. <laughs> He's not gonna be able to think straight for weeks. See, that's the difference between me and Morello. I'm a businessman. I do everything with this. Every decision I make, it's what's good for the business and my boys. But Morello is a hothead. And all that anger burns out the brain. And when he gets mad, he gets stupid. You got nothing like that to worry about with Tommy here. He was aces the whole way, boss. I'm glad to hear it. I got a growing business here. We could use a guy like you to help out around the bar. Maybe run some errands. Make sure the bills get paid on time. You up for that? Oh, it'd be an honor, sir. Good. Good. Now, Polly and Sam have already vouched for you. But you need to understand we have a few rules around here, so you listen and listen good. First, no cursing on the premises. There's a million words out there. And the man who needs to resort to fuck this and fuck that is just ignorant or lazy. Second, we don't deal in the hard stuff. I don't want any dope fiends in this neighborhood. We'll let Morella poison his own people if that's what he wants. Finally, stay out of trouble with the cops. We only have a few on the payroll. And if you cross the line, the rest will come after you. You understand? Yes, Mr. Salieri. Then I'm gonna only ask you for one more thing, Tommy. I don't keep Paulie and Sam around just because they're strong. A lot of guys out there bigger and tougher than these two. And I don't keep Frank on apparel because he's smart. Though he is an artist with the numbers. All these guys in this room, they're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. The only thing that should matter to any of us. You know what that is, Tommy? They're loyal. That's right. Now, you stay straight with me, you're gonna be living the high life, Tom. But you abuse my trust. Don Celieri, you won't ever need to worry about me. Okay, then. Welcome to the family. Excellent. Now I'm starving. Luigi, let's eat. Welcome. A barman Luigi is not much of a cook. But his daughter Sarah, Maron. Those first days in Celieri's bar were slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly, we just waited. I got to thinking, maybe life in Celieri's crew wasn't gonna get me clipped. Come on, I <laughs> but got what did I know? Finish. You, Tommy? Yeah. Boss is waiting. Get him back. Thanks.
Gary is. Sorry I'm late. That's collection day, boys. So Tommy, you'll drive. Paulie and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. So make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe you'll protect them. So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bills still do, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. Now, oh, Vinny said to say he's got something for you, Tom. Head to him first. Probably just wants to tell you some bullshit story about some guy he whacked 20 years ago. Guys, we need to just put First we got Al. He runs a bakery on Longman Street. You know it? Yeah, I know it. Al's late again? Seems so. Eh, that's too bad. This guy is always trying to see as good I am. I know I watch some old videos and all this like... Fucking noises. I am always buy some new... Headphones that are better and not longer than these. I think it's the wire on this uh, thingy. Especially in the old time, you take them out and put them when you need them. I didn't know you could take, take the sound off with the earphones and come in. But now I know how to stop it in turn, you know, so you don't have like, um... Because 
Oh, you are oh, come on, what's that? Come on, I didn't. It's like nothing dots or dudes. Alright, I went and saw. Okay, this is it. We need help! Collision in Little Italy. Available officers. Cops have noticed this time. Driving the person, he's an idiot. You shouldn't walk in the road. You should not stop like that, dude. Don't walk in the road. Simple. First we got Al. He runs a bakery on Longman Street. You know it? Yeah, I know it. Al's late again? Seems so. Eh, that's too bad. He wants this to crash. He wants this to crash. The worst panic in Wall Street's pace time history was one year ago today, and still no escape from the wilder encouraged depression that has followed it. Unemployment reaches 8% this month, but given the prudential trade of sh shuttering business banks and foreclosed farm states, some in the continent say it, <laughs> on that that could be double, perhaps even triple in the coming years. A special picture featured showing scenes from every site. That really happened. Get away from it. Papa, bring me something good, good, good to work on, huh? Super science. Okay, I'm on. Oh yeah, uh, after this one, Matthew 2 will be on, but uh, I'm going to play that on my own time as well, because uh, there are things to collect, and you can't, you know, go press the uh, thingy on it and look at it. It actually comes up and shows you actually a naked picture of a woman you can play on it. I don't know if I'm 10 years or actually models now. But yeah, I am going to uh, do that. Collect some. Because I know where they are. I know where all of them are. So I might do that. I have to listen it. I will play it through and it won't be there anymore. This is it. Watch what we do today, Tom. When it goes smooth, it's a breeze. When they put up a fight, sometimes you gotta think on your feet. Sure. Just follow my lead. This 
Sam, Polly, how are you? We're good. Do you miss the bot? Bonito beyond talent. Wait, I can't say him. This lesson is noted that you are definitely on your occasion to make payments on your agreed loan. This amount has been overdue since July 5th, 1930. Oh, that's like the 16 days before my birthday, guys. Not the day, not the year, the but is uh, his 5th of July. I actually might play again that day. It's just Sunday, so uh, I don't want which thing to do. We have no request to pay this due unless the full amount is received within two weeks. I will have no choice but to instruct this bank to be or close your projects to your home business. Please act accordingly. Chris Merkel, manager, Red Turn Bank. It's a little jewelry. Ha! Not so little now. She's turning into a pain in the ass, just like her grandma. That's good to hear, Al. Real good. Now, you got any trouble around here? Any punks causing problems? No, no. Nothing like that. Good. So you got the money? I got it uh, waiting in the back room. Oh? Tommy will get it. You stay here where we can see you. It's been real slow this month, Sam. I was worried I wouldn't have enough. Al, I know you've never hold out on us, but it's good you're worried. I mean, how Where's the money? It's on the table, brown envelope. Via di qui. Lasciateci in pace. I got it. See you next month, Al. Let us know if you need anything. Anything at all. Sure will, Sam. Sure will. And give our best to your mom, huh? Slow man. Okay, next stop we got old Eugene's place. China store up on Tallow. He's not dead yet? Almost. Heard his nephew's taken over. Guy who used to run this next place, Tom? His name's not Eugene. Guy's a Chinaman. But it sounds like Eugene. Well, that's what we called him. Polly slammed his head into the counter back in, what, 27, I think? <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. After that, no problems at all. If you look, you can still see the blood. Poor old bastard couldn't scrub it out. We keep some of these guys on our books to remind the Chinatown gangs there in our city, not theirs. But we don't know Eugene's nephew, so he might need reminded too. Each time you crash, you make little Ralphie cry. This is it. I'll cover this one, Sam. 
You sure? Sure, I'm sure. I'm fine with being alone, just fine. I don't listen. He's doing the store on his own? Yeah, when Polly's built up a little steam and he's to let it out on his own, she gotta let him get on with it. It's his way. You can hear it in his voice. Gotta let him lone wolf from time to time. Keeps him happy. Yeah, Eugene's nephew ain't having much fun right now. When he's going, Polly don't stop. Once we were putting a squeeze on this tailor over in Holbrook, the guy ended up in a wheelchair. Here he comes. He's a fast worker. Drive before the cop show, Tom. Next stop's Bill at the motel. Eugene's nephew's guy's money is ours next week, with some extra besides. He doing okay? He's okay. How's the shop counter? Yeah, that seen some more blood. How much blood? And yeah, nothing he can't scrub out. Once he's back on his feet. You wanna come out with us again, Tom? hear even more about Chinese nephew guys scrubbing their own blood out of shop counters. Yeah, seems like it's not too hard. Not hard. Kinda not hard. I don't know. Comes natural to you guys. Don't see why it can't come natural to me. So anyone can do this. Me and Polly, we've been working these streets for years. You come in and you think you know it all? I'm not saying that, Sam. I... You've been a day on the job, pal. You haven't seen what we do. You haven't seen how we do it. Sam, I think you oughta... No, Polly. This punk thinks he can walk in here like a big shot. I put greasers like him in the ground. I think you gotta say you're sorry, Tom. Sorry, huh? Well, I'd say sorry if I couldn't see the bullshit smile you're trying to hide. <laughs> you got him, though, Sam! You got him! <laughs> I could smell the crap in your pants from here. Nah, you didn't get me. <laughs> when little Tony first came out with us, I had him on his knees before he knew I was yanking his chain. <laughs> yeah, you did better than him anyways. What does the president have to say? Jesus, I hate it out of the city. You hate it most places. Yeah, but out here it's worse. How come there's a place so far out of town on our books? Out of town's the safest place for deals. The safest place for card games. The safest place for most of the things we do. We're expecting a big bag of money today. The guy owes. If it ain't big, the boss will be pissed. Yeah, this place is a real earner. Oftentimes, the places that get you the most dough are the ones most people don't look at twice. Just recently, the motels had a new lease of life. Last stop before Lost Heaven for rum coming up from Cuba. They drive it this far? Sure they do. That's how we can sell it so expensive. Those motels gotta be the place where crates get exchanged. Salieri protects it, but he lets the other families use it too. Even Barolo? To keep the peace? Sure. Plus it's far enough away that no one cares. As long as everyone's making money, no one's gonna rock the boat. Anyone else starting to miss the side of the streets and sidewalks? Not one for the great outdoors, Polly. He's not one for anything. And usually, when we do the rounds, we don't wreck every car on the road. It's a rule we have. He's not one for anything. Indoors, outdoors, in the city, out of the city. I hate it out here. Like when we sit in the field doing some booze handover or something. It's always knee deep in shit, and most times it's dark and cold as hell. That's why it's good we got you now, Tom. You can do all the jobs that Polly hates. I'm happy to oblige.
for us here, Tom. We'll be back in a bit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, through the rules. Ah, Tom! Tom, I, I took one! Tell Salieri from here on out this place is ours. Capiche? And don't come back, or you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. Get Phil. They're trying to beat information out of him. I gotta get you to a doctor. Uh, I can wait. Get Sam out of there. Okay. Okay, just hang on. Son of a bitch. Let's look this way. Thousands of friends in GTA.
Sam. They really went to work on you, buddy. Christ. Come on. You'll be all right. You're tough as nails. Oh, shit. He's got the money, Tom. Oh, catch the bastard. Where is Sam? He's okay. Inside. Then go get the money! That was when I saw the cost. What it meant to be on the inside. Huh. I should have took off there and then. But I couldn't go back to being a nobody. Boom, dear. Okay. And tomorrow's so. Huh? So that's how a regular palooka goes from cabbie to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just dumb luck. Didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street, taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner, what are the odds? It felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat, and the next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money, and lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Back then, Salieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Salieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy. He scared into looking the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping in its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. Okay. Uh, Alright, um... The way I hear it, Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. God damn it! Moron! You drive with your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! Jesus, Mary, Joseph, Dumb, Tom Morello, I, I didn't know it was you. You know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? No. Well, then, uh. I'm sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? No, 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 no sir. I, I just, I just, I, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are gonna be expensive. Oh, you, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. The grill's a little bent up is all. I mean, I got a cousin, I got... They're gonna hit you with it, yeah. <laughs> No one cares. Okay. I'll see him care as well.
I think, yeah, I think he's friends with the cops. Yeah. Uh, someone spun your tail, pal. You got an informant right there says Merle made a mint every time Crackers went to the mat. That's true, too. And still, Morello left that poor sap dead in the street. Head all caved in. I don't square. Maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Or maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Don Celieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You, uh... Huh? Have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not at first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We're running booze, out for protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect small time. But I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. Tommy, thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. Mm -hmm. I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, <laughs> Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the Junkers to Gow jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race, and he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload, but not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. You want something to happen to the driver? Can't find him. Morello's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wagers will stand. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, bring it to one of our mechanics and make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss. Sarah, can I get a drink here? As soon as you're ready. Sure thing. Your pop let you out for the race? You kidding? Feels like we're packing this place up and moving it to the stands. The Grandier's day in the smallest cafe is almost up upon us. Record, record crowds that are spectators to design things upon the lost haven auto draw in this weekend. As the city based in the glory sunshine, famous German driver Martin Nussberg is taking some time away from the international series to challenge both his hero, Mikey and race fears. Look at this half portion. Where were you last night? I was with you. You go on ahead, Tom. I'll deal with this mook. Alex. Hey, hey. Buona sera, Tom. So that's a five, a six. Hey, Titi, Tom.